Hello guys, Lifehackster here. A lot of you have asked me if I can do the license plate test that I do in daytime when I review outdoor cameras, if I can also do it at night, especially on security cameras that have spotlights or floodlights, or even in infrared night vision. Well, I would really love to do it, except license plates have a reflective coating. So when you shine an infrared light or even a floodlight or spotlight on it, it will reflect that light back to the camera, resulting in a glare. As long as the light source, whether a real light or an infrared light, is from the camera itself or near it, it will cause a glare. And this is the reason why I don't do this type of testing at night. There are a lot of factors involved to be able to see license plates like distance and speed of the vehicle and field of view and the resolution of the camera, just to name a few. And it becomes more challenging at night. And there are a lot of cameras, especially Wi-Fi based cameras, struggle just to have a decent video quality past 30 feet in daytime and more than 10 feet at night. With a different setup though, you might be able to read plates even with a regular Wi-Fi camera, as long as the car is parked and not moving. But you will need another device that is placed a bit further away and in a different angle. It might be a separate light or an IR emitter or better yet another camera. And this will be the source of the light or infrared. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. I'll be testing this to demonstrate and show you guys. I'll do a couple of setups here and one with a 4K IP NVR camera which I recently reviewed, the Reolink 823A, which has a pretty good video quality and has three little spotlights. And on the other side here will be the Wisecam V3 which is a Wi-Fi camera with its floodlight. I reviewed both of these cameras and I will link them down in the description if you haven't seen them yet. So later on tonight, we will see how these cameras perform first just by themselves on both with black and white infrared night vision and also with their lights on and see how much glare and if there's any angle that will be able to read the plates. Then we'll tweak their settings. So for color night vision, turn off the lights of the recording camera and adding the lights of the other camera. And same thing with the infrared night vision. Turn off the infrared of the recording camera and use the infrared of the other camera and see if we could eliminate the glare and be able to read the plates. First test, real link by itself with spotlights on. As you can see, the spotlights will just cause glare on the plates in any angle I point the plates. And now with the infrared LEDs on, you can see it is the same thing. The infrared light will just bounce back causing the glare and you will not even know that I'm holding a license plate. Now we will turn off the spotlights in the camera settings and also make sure the camera is recording in color. And we will use the Wisecam floodlight to give us the light which is shining from a different angle than the reeling camera. And now you'll be able to read the plates. But as you will see, it will blur out even when there is some movement. How about if you don't have spotlights or just an infrared night vision? The spotlights are still off and now we will also turn off the infrared lights and we will set the Reolink's night vision to auto so that it will still record in black and white at night but with its infrared lights off. And this is also why I chose Reolink and Wisecam in this testing because in their settings, you'll be able to turn off the infrared LEDs but still make the camera record in black and white. Some cameras, you will not have this option. We will use the Weiss's infrared lights to light up the area and see if we can read the plates, which even though the infrared lights of the Weiss is not really strong enough, but we still can read it. How about just turning off the infrared light of the Weiss cam and just use the floodlights and see how the real link will record just in black and white mode. And you can see it, it also works and this can also be an option. Time to test the Wise Cam. Let's start first with its floodlights on, which is the same thing. The light will just reflect back to the camera. And how about the night vision mode? Same thing. Infrared glare will just wash out the license plate's letters and numbers. Now let's turn off the floodlight and just use Wise's color night vision and use the spotlights from the reeling camera. As you can see, because the Wisecam V3 has a starlight sensor, which makes it pretty sensitive, and it just needs little to no light. Even when I have the Reolink spotlight to 50% brightness, you will still see the glare, and the plates are washed out. I have to lower the Reolink spotlight to the minimum, which there's barely any light. And now when I'm still and not moving, you'll be able to read the license plates. How about if we turn off the infrared lights and turning on the night vision or set it to auto so that it will record in black and white mode and we will use Reolink's infrared lights. 
As you can see, Relink's infrared LEDs are pretty strong. And I can't say bright because it doesn't light up the place. But if your camera is in night vision mode, you will see my backyard is pretty lit up. And the same thing though, when I'm not moving, you can clearly see the plates. And with a slight movement, it just becomes a blur. Now you have to test this with your cameras, but the main takeaway on this video is that you're probably going to have a chance of reading license plates if either the infrared or the light source that you use for your cameras are set up in a different angle than the camera you use for recording. And as I said earlier in the video, there are a lot of factors involved if you want to be able to read license plates, which is very challenging for a regular security camera at night. That is why there are LPR or license plate recognition cameras which are pretty expensive, but they're built and settings dialed in just to be able to read plates. I'll make another video though, but I'll do more testing first because you can use an IP or NVR camera that has an optical zoom set to zoomed in position and make it as your poor man's LPR. And I'll do that in my future videos. Anyways, here are my review videos on the Reolink 823A and the Wise Flatlight Cam, which I used in this video if you haven't seen it yet. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.